The RV storage is a great thing. Being able to take along all the equipment that we want on our RV travels is really key, but having it optimized is always a struggle. Trying to get things where they're extremely accessible, but not taking up too much space, making it available for the time that you do need it. That, that is key. So today, I'm gonna be solving a problem that I've had for a while, and it's not just adding another bin to our storage. I don't know if you've ever had a bin that you, you don't use all the time, but when you need it, you just wanna to get to it quickly. Oftentimes, bins like that can shuffle their way through storage and get trapped in there and it's not accessible. So today, I'm creating a storage for equipment that I don't wanna contaminate other things in the storage. You probably see where I'm going with this. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be storing. It's not huge, but it's gonna be optimized for exactly what we need. I don't know about you, but to me, optimized storage is better than just bigger storage. This feels a little bit like confession time because usually this is what I'm trying to hide and it's this bag and this area of drain water system stuff that I would rather not have in this area. This is where I like to keep hoses and, and fresh water attachments, but uh, this plastic bag, I know it's a high-end plastic bag, really nice, but uh, it's not really sufficing to keep things separated and a good solution and kind of chokes the area where I need to empty the tanks, the, the hose coming in. I would much rather have a solution where I can keep all this in the same area. We have the tubes in the back, but these kind of things don't fit in that tube system. And so I wanna come up with a solution that keeps it all together, hidden and in the, the back of the RV away from this section. Now the plan is to use this ammo can. I'm using an ammo can because they're inexpensive, easy to get, and very durable. So mounting this underneath the RV, I'm not worried about it. And I'm gonna mount it the exact same way that these tubes are mounted underneath there. I'm just gonna screw it directly right to the frame of the RV. And so I can also put a carabiner on the end here so it can't open up when we're going down the road. That, that would uh, be pointless to have something that would fail as you're going down the road. So let's get to installing it. First, I'm looking behind the frame to make sure there's nothing behind there that I don't want to hit where I'm going to mount it. And then I also want to make sure that the door is going to stay on when I open it, make sure that the hinge stays connected when it's open. And then I want to pre-drill these, so I mark them out and I pre-drill the three holes for mounting this to the frame. And here's the thing that makes this so simple, is it just screws directly to the frame. Now, there were a couple of things that I learned and thought about as I was putting this in, but I think it worked out great for exactly what I need. It doesn't hang any lower than the spare tire. It keeps everything together. So when I'm using the drain hose, I have my attachments right here. So that donut, the adapter, all that is just gonna be right here and easy to get to. I, I love that. No more plastic bags and bins that kind of get buried in there. It's all gonna be right here in one place. One thing I did wanna do is make sure this doesn't open when I'm going down the road. So I drilled out the latch on this side and that way I can put a carabiner through there so it cannot open when we're going down the road. I, I think that's really important. You don't want to lose any of this stuff. I even put little clamps on here or a little S hook on here so it doesn't open up when you're going down the road and lose some of this equipment. A couple other things I did is I did take the handle off the door because I'm not going to be carrying it around anymore and this does seal up really well. So I am considering putting holes on the bottom. Right now it seals up so if I'm putting away something more Moist, I may not want to trap that moisture in there. So I might drill a couple of holes on the bottom so if there is any moisture, it can find its way out. But I, I think the great thing about this little modification is it's not just a massive amount of storage, it's very optimized specific storage for exactly what we need. And it fits exactly the equipment we need to fit in there. Every time we're gonna need this equipment, it's gonna be just as easy as opening up this. And when we don't need it, it's gonna be out of the way, not getting in the way of anything else. I think it's a great modification to have on the RV. And enjoying the RVing process just makes it that much more fun.